Hello, my peeps. We appear to be live, but the thing is flipping all over the place. So let's just wait till that stops and see what happens. I can see the comment section. So if anybody's out there, dropping a comment would make me feel so much better because then I would know if this is actually working. Uh, just, you know, asking. That would be awesome. Okay, so. Yeah, let's just go with this. I think it's working. Mm, yep. So, hi. <laughs> um, I actually did a test uh, live to make sure this was wouldn't happen. And I did the test. And as soon as the test was over, it exited me out of absolutely everything. And I had to go back in and reset it up and get a new stream key and do everything. So I failed to see what the point of the test was if I had to redo it all again anyways. Nonetheless, I hope it works. Uh, good happy Tuesday. No, it's not Tuesday. Happy Wednesday, everybody. It is Tracy Stewart, the paper pusher. And I have so much on the go right now that I'm just like, oh, to get through it all. And then you won't understand a thing I said. So I'm really right now concentrating on uh, just being chill and not talking too fast. That's where my main concentration is. I am still curious to see, yeah, if it's working. <laughs> um, I don't know why. YouTube was so much friendlier and what I, what I did to screw up the permissions there, I don't know. Um, after this week, after this weekend, things like whew, chill a little bit. I still have lots going on. It's never a dull moment, but, um, but I am hoping that I can like disconnect everything, do a few, little bit of a rearranging, reconnect everything, get everything set back up again, and hopefully things will run smoother. And I did watch a video that told me how to do YouTube and Facebook at the same time. But when I tried, I couldn't get either one to work. And I was like, but you made it look so simple, dude. So I'm going to try that again, just so it goes in two places and everybody's happy. Okay, what's up Wednesday? Oh my goodness, people, there's a lot up. Um, I will first off show you, this is the stamps that I used. And I could show you the stamps inside the case, but there are none, because I used every stamp in the case. Some of them many times. I would have made more projects if I had more time. But all this stuff you can see it like in the periphery <laughs> of my desk is the custom order I'm working on. Plus, I'm uh, working, like going back to the office on Friday, so I need to get my video for Friday done beforehand. Uh, full day of appointments tomorrow. And so much stuff happening next week. Um, plus things to wrap up th this week, so it, it's there's just so much. Let's get started, shall we? Let's let Tracy pause to have a drink. Um, it's it's a good thing you that I haven't figured out, I guess, my face cam quite yet. Because uh, I'm drinking cranberry juice and soda water, but I'm drinking it out of a like a water goblet. And it really does look like I have this massive glass of wine with me. I do not. And if you think that uh, I'm woo now, I have zero tolerance for alcohol, so that would be a fun show. Okay, here's what's going on. I'm having an after party. <laughs> and you're like, what, what? Um, more details will be like, there'll be a separate post for this, but I'm just gonna, sometimes I just like to explain things first. Um, it was so nice to see empty bins and we had such a good time on Saturday. Um, thank you everybody who came out and supported us in our little sale. Um, every, all the vendors said that it was worthwhile and it was, and it's just, you know, it's so nice. Even if, even if it's not about the sales, it's just so nice to talk to people and, and get excited about crafting products. Like you have no idea. So when I got home though, and I was looking at all those empty bins and I thought, okay, I got to put everything, like rearrange the garage. I made such a mess going through that stuff. <clears throat> I need to pull everything out and clean it out. And I have three stacks of bins. I have the bins for the retired product sale. I have a different looking set of bins that stack right beside it. They're for our extravaganza because we start having like supplies that we use for each one of those now. And then I have a stack of bins that I use for my local classes and midweek escape and all those things. So I have a set of those bins, also different color lids. So all three of them, they're different shape bins and everything, but they also all have different color lids. So it's easy 
don't know when my son is loading to say clear lid, white lid, green lid. So I have this all. So I thought I got to put all this back in, but I'm like, oh, I just wish I had less to put back in. So I've decided I'm going to do the little online version like I did last year. On Sunday, where did I write that? I wrote that here. The 2nd of July, noon mountain time. Now I know it's a long weekend. It's a holiday weekend. It's all things, but this is the day that works for me. <laughs> I do not want to wait. I want to do it right away. That's the first day I can do it. That's the first day I am doing it. When the live is over, I will post the video and then I will just, <clears throat> within a certain amount of time, I will have a spreadsheet going. It will say like what the products were and which, and once they get sold. So you can either watch the video and get like the information and then you can just look at the spreadsheet if you're curious or you can just send me a message. But I won't be able to do anything with the video after the fact. My skills are not there yet to go in and start writing sold, sold, sold over top of things. <clears throat> Um, we'll have the option to do it as a BOGO. I'm keeping the same sale prices that they were. The stuff is priced to go to new homes. I, I actually like to think of all the new stuff. Uh, you know the movie Brave Little Toaster? Where the the older appliances get put at the cabin. I haven't seen that movie in a long time, but that's how I remember it. They all go out to the cabin so they don't get used as often. And then they get, I think they get picked up because the kids go into college or something. And they're all excited because they're going to be used again. But then they forget the toaster and all the... That's what that's how I feel. These stamp sets haven't been used as much. They're a bit older. I'm using the newer stuff and they're sitting there lonely wishing somebody would ink them up. And now they've gone to new homes and they'll be inked up and life is happy again. <laughs> yep. Everything plays in my head like a Disney movie, like a cartoon version of a Disney movie nonetheless. So yeah, I'm hoping to move more product to new homes so all those stamps can be happily inked up again. So that's what I'm going to do. They'll, like I said, I'll have a separate post. I'll have some more details. Um, we'll figure out that it'll mention shipping and all that other stuff, but watch for a post for that. I put this part, this poster here with after party. So, you know, which post to look for, uh, what else is going on? Um, the fun in the sun. This is the next paper pumpkin kit. Uh, it's such fun colors and it's fun folds and, um, it's going to be just beachy. So, uh, deadline for that is the 10th. We have three things oh, an end, three things ending on Friday. Oh, sorry. Two things ending on Friday. That one already ended. Um, I had them all in here for a reason, but that was just for the last live. So the 15% off the DSP, Friday is the 30th. That is the last day to order. Uh, you have till like, I don't know, 1130 at night to order. And then it's gone. The awesome, awesome, awesome starter kit deal. $206 worth of product, plus a bunch of business supplies and stuff, which even if you're not running the business envelopes, catalogs, idea books. Oh, it's a good idea. Um, plus a free paper pumpkin kit, You're like $300 worth of stuff, $135 flat rate, no shipping, no GST. You can order the pre-order stuff. You can order the sale stuff. If you order stuff in this, in the starter kit, you still get the 15% off. So you can get more stuff in there. Uh, it is a, it is the best deal hands down. Whoa, starter kit. You have any questions, you need help signing up. You need any of that stuff. You let me know. I am happy to help. But Friday is the last day for those two deals. Next week, I want to say next Wednesday. Is next Wednesday the 5th? Yes, it is. Midweek card escape. I've got a morning session and an afternoon session because I've had people say they want to do both. Um, I think we're going to do a little Christmas in July. There's some Christmas sets that are in the um, annual catalog right now. So if you want to get your Christmas crafting done early, that's how you do it. On the 6th of July, and next week's newsletter will have more information that's when we can get some new Christmas stuff. And then, then we have to sit here and patiently wait a week or two while it ships. But um, the little red truck bundle, remember, I'm making a list ahead of time. Anybody who wants me to order that at midnight, the buzz around that thing, it's amazing. It's amazing. I hope they order it a ton so everybody gets it and it doesn't go out of order, out of like out of stock. But oh my goodness, the buzz around that thing is amazing. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing that next Wednesday. And then uh, more info to come. Uh, well, actually, not more info to come. This is all the info is pretty much in here. Um, I will post this so you can read the info. Maybe I'll put it that way. Uh, we have announced that our extravaganza was on the 14th of October, but now we have some details. And basically, registration opens next week. We do not know the product yet because we don't have the catalog yet. Everything is going to be a very short turnaround this time. We're taking registrations. A lot of people are like, I'm coming anyways. It doesn't matter what we're doing because, you know, we've had some good times this last three, four now, is it extravaganzas? So some people are coming back no matter what. We love that. Thank you very much. Um, 
I got some information in here about what we think will happen. We got a couple of bonuses for you repeat customers, repeat offenders. Um, the important stuff to know though is registration opens next week on the 3rd for the returnees. It opens on the 10th for anybody new who hasn't been to one of these events before. The early bird draw, likely going to be sit for the set of dies like last year. Um, is anybody who is registered by the 30th of July. We need to have as many people as possible registered by the 30th of July because of just this crazy turnaround. We will let you know on the 28th of July what the bundle is. So if any of you are demonstrators and you want to pre-order, you'll have like five days notice. The dog just decided to come join me. Jump up on my lap and try to drink out of my drink. So you know that cranberry juice I mentioned? Yeah. It's going to be all over my desk shortly. I just see it happening. Um, the, sorry. Do, do, do. Yes, you'll know what the what the what the products were like the stamp set bundle whatever we end up going with. Um, you'll know what that is before the pre-order, so not to worry. And then the final registration is the fourth of September. No late registrations, no exceptions, no how. Um, we have to get all this stuff, prep all this stuff, and turn it around in six weeks. And we do normally do this in a couple months. So dates are important. Get going soon. Um, everybody has to use this link to register so we get all the right information. And there's always little extra tidbits in the actual registration form. And the important part is um, the last four of them, three of them, how come I can't remember all of a sudden how many we've had? This will be the fourth. Um, they've all sold out. So when we give you these dates and we say that's it, that's it. <laughs> uh, we're very happy. Th we, these things are so much fun. We get so many projects. We have so much fun snacking and chatting and crafting. And it is just... It is awesome, but the turnaround and the, the details because of the changes in the product release this year, they're going to be tight. So yeah, you got to get on it. There we go. Okay. I'm going to put my papers away for now so we can show fun stuff. Um, I'm going to, I don't, <laughs> well, basically I don't even have room on my desk, but I also, um, won't have time to show you exactly how and make every one of these cards. So for some reason, as, as messy as my desk is, that one little dimensional back is what's bothering me, that it's not where it should be. Um, my phone is uh, buzzing away in there. Okay, there we go. Oh, I can see. I thought it, I'm, I'm trying to check and see if I'm getting any messages that way because nothing is coming through in the comments. If people are commenting, I'm not seeing them. Um, but I'm very excited because that message was actually telling me that my washing machine is on its way. Um, <laughs> Which, oh, that's a whole other ordeal. But I'm very happy. I, I do not enjoy shopping. I've decided that. I do not enjoy it. Um, but the washing machine has been broken for quite a while. It costs $8.50 to do a load of laundry at the laundromat. Um, and so we're going on like five weeks of this now. So, yes, I finally broke down, took the time, found a washing machine. It's coming next week. Life is good. Okay, so here's the stamp set. So <laughs> maybe I should do this so you can see. The actual stamp set but seriously i used every stamp in the thing it is called everyday thanks and we should always be thanking everybody every day i mean that's just a good thing but as you can see we got some medical professionals some emergency professionals some teachers and some coaches and i thought of one other thing that you could put in here and i'll show you when i get to it because i was just like oh you know who we should be thanking <laughs> and uh, it worked out perfectly so there we go so i'm going to leave this nope that's not going to work i'm going to leave this here just in case you want to see it Seriously, I barely a square inch of space on my desk right now. Okay, so I said I made 17 projects. <clears throat> now, full disclosure, some of them are a similar version of the thing. Um, I could have made five of these, but I only made one. So think about how many, like, the, the possibilities are endless. Now, for me, the big challenge is not to add die cuts to something. I, will, I, I mean, I like punches. Um... But, oh, do I like my die cuts. And to put die cuts on stuff or to put twine on things or even to put embellishments on things, yes. But this time I thought, no, we can do this. This set is made for two of my favorite, favorite crafting activities. It's made for coloring and it's made for fussy cutting. So i got to put these down or I'm going to end up dropping them. I have a whole bunch of extra pieces cut out too so I can make more stuff afterwards. Um... So as I go, I will give you um, I will give you tips. Uh, this is it because I might actually be I might actually be able to stick them up. Damn. Okay, sorry. So apparently there are messages. I'm just not seeing them. Uh, we'll, okay. 
right, let's just see if I can. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm a little bit afraid to touch anything. <laughs> but yeah, none of the messages are showing up here. Why? Okay, it just says no comments yet. Comments from the audience will show here. Comment mode. Ooh, there's a different mode. Let's see. Oh, I'm so scared to touch anything, though. I really am. Um, do, 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 do. Nope, I have no idea. That's that's not the answer. <laughs> okay, well, let's go back to this, and uh, I will go back and answer the comments afterwards. Um, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe if I open it on my other little device here. Look at me getting all savvy. I'm going to use two devices at once. I'm going to turn on the volume so I don't deafen myself. Let's see if that works. I was I was hurrying because I had so much stuff to show you, but I think I think we'll be okay to stay within our time frame. So let me just see if I can't, because uh, I would love to talk to you. That would be awesome if I could just figure out how and why and why Facebook continues. Oh, thank you, Tamara. Um, why Facebook continues to torment me? Um, okay. She just said she's going to keep an eye on the messages so I don't have to touch anything. Cause, and she's right. If I touch anything, God only knows what might happen. Oh, my good Lord. So I, I touched the button. It won't let me do anything. So I'm just like, fine. I'm just going to exit out of it. As soon as I exit out of it, all the comments start showing up. Yes, 8.50 for load at the bottom. Okay, let me just go back here really quickly. Sorry, everybody. It just Okay, I see Tamara. Hello, little red truck. Yes, Trina. Hello. So, Trina, I was... Do what was I doing? I was doing something yesterday, I think, and it, it, I was thinking about something about work and it jumped in my head about the JFRs and all of a sudden I remembered that we were supposed to talk JFR on Saturday, so I did not forget. I just forgot at the time. So one of these times, if you want, we can even just Zoom with your daughter and we can talk JFR if you want. But I, yeah, thought about it afterwards, felt really bad because I completely spaced on it on Saturday. Yes, the laundromat in town. That is crazy. Just crap. Don't worry about the comments. Yes, thank you. Okay, good. Well, let's just see if I can keep up with more than one thing. But I don't know why this stuff is just... Nothing is working like it did before. So, okay. Let's watch the stream of cards go by instead. All right. And I have, and they all have envelopes. And they're all stamped on the inside. Look at that. Okay, so this is the first one. Which is a coach, gym teacher. Could be anybody. Uh, what I will show you, so I, I do like things in threes. Um, I always have. Uh, that's why Tamara and I get along so well, because they're like, you know, simpatico there. Um, some things I can line up and they look great. Some things like these guys with the little, what is this word? Lanyard or whatever, like whistle string, whatever he's holding it around his neck with. Uh, they make it much harder to make it go that way. So sometimes random is just better. And I just was like, ran random is harder though, also. And I was doing this, and it almost looks like the whistle is flipping, and I was just like, totally lucked out there. Um, okay, so my point to tell you on the cards, though, I will tell you as I go along. I colored this heart with the blends. Now, I only use, like, for my card bases, I only use the thick card stock. So it's not as bad as it could be, but you can see that the blends will go through. The next card I will show you. I'm not sure where I'm going to put these all as I go. I might have to put them off to the side because I don't think it will work. The next card I showed you, very similar, but and even even with the stethoscope being a little less than straight, um, it lined up better, so that worked. This one I colored with the just the stamp and marker, and you'll notice it doesn't go through. So now it doesn't really matter. I don't think that this tiny little thing in here is going to matter. It's just going to let you know there's a heart on the other side, but that's okay. Um, you could also just put it on a layer and then you won't and then put the layer on top like it could just be a white layer on top and you wouldn't even notice it um okay just a minute yeah i'm gonna have too much stuff going here in a minute <laughs> let me just save myself the trouble i'm also gonna uh, i'm also gonna be smarter and move these out of the way because that would make it a lot more sense uh, <laughs> so i'm setting them off here precariously off to the side so when you hear the big crash that's all the stamps falling on the floor just in case you're wondering Okay, so I do need I do need to be able to put my um, some of my stuff on my desk though to show you. Okay, so my next card, ta-da, is my policeman card. 
so I, I don't, you know, I was thinking about this as I was going. That's what made me actually think about the other one. Um, I mean, the suspense is going to kill you. I'm not going to tell you what the other thing I thought of that's on here. So does everybody know that police get red and blue? Fire departments have only get red. Ambulance only get red. So you can kind of customize it a little bit that way. So this one is police department because it's got red and blue. Now this stamp set actually says, or not stamp set, stamp actually says, uh, thank you for everything you do. And I quite like that. But I wanted some of them just to say thank you. Now, my little trick to doing it, it does work much better with the photopolymer. I'm going to show you with this, just with this random gray stamp pad that is sitting there. But I will tell you that I managed to do it, with the exception of one, <laughs> very successfully, just by doing this. This is how I stamp it. You can tape it off and mask it, or you can put a piece of tape on your card and mask it so you can ink the whole thing up and only stamp. I find when I do that, I inevitably cut something off. So this is my trick. I just do my stamping like this. I look like this and I go at an angle. I have to do it this way, but like for you guys, you'd be looking at it this way. And I ink it up like this. Now, it works most of the time. And if you get like a little bit of slop over on the other ones, just wipe it off. It worked like a charm. Um, what I will caution you though, is if you are making a whole bunch of cards and you decide you're gonna do that, uh, wash your stamp first, like completely, because if not, the residue, even though it looks clean, oh, maybe you can't even see that, but see that? The residue of all the other stamping you did, it's still there. So this is my original attempt. Um, and I was gonna, you could just put a label over top of it, but I wasn't popping any of these up, so that seemed weird to me. But yeah, make sure you wash your stamp completely, otherwise you get this little ghost everything on there. So that was one of them. And then some of the things, so you'll notice, what did I do with the other ones? I, I was starting with, we're all just going with like three of a kind, right? Let me see if I could do this now that I cleared off some of my stuff on my table. So there's the threes. Now, the other thing I decided to do though was, well, this one's small. Who, I can do more than three. I can do however many that is. <laughs> Oops, there's my dog envelope in my hand. So I made, and this would be for fire departments or ambulance because they're all red flashing lights. Um, and you could color random pieces, you could do whatever, but this was fun, this was just stamping. But here's my tip for you on this one. When you go to stamp, start in the middle. Don't start dead center in the middle because it will look very obvious. But start in the middle, like off center, and do your stuff and work your way out because you're less likely to get big gaps. Now I did that down here and it maybe it doesn't look as bad when I look at it on the camera now, but um, this one I did first and I should have done it a little farther over. So if you do find you have a little gap, that's where you can you know, add something. But I find if you start on an edge and go over, you'll end up with weird half things or something. So kind of start in a kind of somewhere along the middle, but not like don't put one right smack dab in the middle because everything will look weird afterward. Go off a little bit and then just start randomly filling in the blanks and be very careful because on this one, I was stamping lots and red I find with my red ink pad doesn't work quite as well. Probably just needs to be inked. I tend to stamp it a lot. And so I was going back and forth and back and forth and I hit the side of the stamp. So then I got this little halo. Halo, Jasmine, nuts. But I thought that's fine. I'm just gonna put the tag, you see how I put the tag at the bottom? I thought, that's okay, I'll just put it here. But then I kept going and I did it again. And then I couldn't, so I had to make a new one because I couldn't put the tag in two different places. And this one didn't get any embellishments. Now this is not wasted because I will take all these little things and cut them out and possibly color them. Um, and put them on other cards because I did cut and color. Do you remember how I mentioned I love to fussy cut and I love to color? I have a whole bunch of spare ones of these. So I did make this card and you can jazz it up just by, you know, popping up the occasional one or just color the occasional one in there. So that was that one. And then the people that you don't want to forget. Um, at least, at least if you live in Alberta, you don't want to forget who knows who has orange <laughs> for their lights. That's right. We should be grateful to the snow plows. <laughs> so that was the one I came up with for the snow plows. I'm like, oh, I can make one for the guy. The guys that work in the city that drive the snow plows are such nice people. Um, I've met a few of them. I've, I've like waited out on the sidewalk to move the garbage cans out of the way for the guy who's trying to clean up the ice and stuff like that. And they're such nice people and they just get so much abuse <laughs> by people in the like, Facebook comments and that because nobody likes the, the 
winter roads and stuff, but it's not their fault. So I thought, nope, I'm making some for these guys. Now, some of the cards work color-wise. Like these ones, like, oops, I gotta cover them up. So these ones I've just, I've actually done in gray. I use gray more than black. Um, I, I like the way it stamps. I also didn't use Memento on any of these, even though I did color them with blend, so I'm being a rebel. Um, but as long as you don't color over the lines you stamp, like if you're careful to just color on the inside, works just fine. So these ones I stamped in just gray and added like a little bit of red accents. These ones, as you noticed, red and blue. These ones I did. So some of them work fine without even anything, like just flat out stamp them. But I also did stamp and fussy cut um, little orange lights and like color them in. And look how cute it looks when you do that. <laughs> and it popped them up. I should mention too, I do really like dimensionals as well. So then I got that one. So then, and basically, like I said, I'm still just using the same the same deal, right? Here's the, um, thank you for the medical professionals. Same thing, I just did the thing. I originally just had the three stamps all in one color. And I decided, well, should I make it a different color? Can I, can I make this red? But I decided to just like pop one of these bad boys up. And I love the way it looks. Uh, you'll see I get fancier on the other ones. But this is just like the, the initial ones. And then... God bless them, and you all. Anybody who works in a school, you so deserve your two-month break that you're all about to get to have, because God bless you for doing what you do. I could never. Um, anyway, this is my teacher card, and I love this pencil, and I had so much fun coloring this pencil. So there we go. These are all basically the same card, just using the different. What did I do? Oh, I, I filed all the stamps on the stamp set, so I can't show you. So using the the five images. And the two thank yous. So one says thank you for everything you do. One just says thanks. And then this one was just like the sort of the screened off one. Okay. Listen, I gotta I gotta move some things. Um, yeah, like I said, I do I do like to uh, color and I do like to fussy cut. Um, so I was having a blast. Now using similar stuff, um, I made. Well, these are slightly stepped up cards. I'm trying to get it with system. Um, so this one is one of the ones that, because it had the string, I liked it with just one of them. And because I used a bit darker card base instead of just the white card base, um, I did, or sorry, I'll show you on the other ones. This one I didn't actually put a thing in, but I did stamp on the inside. But I like this one. This is just popped up. I didn't try to cut the whole string on here. That would have been a nightmare. But I did pop that little whistle up for the coach or the gym teacher. Um, I did the same thing basically the same card for with the stethoscope and I will tell you the stethoscope is fun to fussy cut this one I and I actually have one two three four five six seven eight little pieces of dimensional holding the stethoscope up right now um, but I did I did pop him up because I like to I stamped him underneath just so that like you can kind of see it I also find that if you stamp the image underneath and you can stamp and color or just stamp and then when you put this over top if you've got any crooked edges on your fussy cutting the stamped edge underneath sort of fills it in so there's no like obvious white spots and it just makes your fussy cutting look better <laughs> there you go pro tip so i love the way this looks but yes that was a mm, you know what to fussy cut that stethoscope out and get all those little pieces and and i mean the bottom part's not too bad but these little earbuds try not to cut them off Ooh. So the other thing I did, because I do, like I said, I like my dimensionals. I also made one where I, where I stamped just three of them, and I colored them all, and then I did. How do I get this? Which direction do I want to go? So you can see, you can't really. I did pop this one up, but on this one, and I don't know if you can see it. I just went around and like rounded off the whole edges, and I left this all like this is solid in the middle, and I just kind of cut around the edge, and it still pops it up. So in person you can see the dimension, but. Um, it was much easier than doing that. The other option you'd have is, I was keeping it low tech, but with punches and dies, you could certainly cut some circles out. Circles, oval, squares, whatever is going to fit best, and pop them up on that, and that would give you the dimension as well. So, but yeah, and adding some colored cardstock, and like I said, these ones, because they're darker colors, they've got things inside. So that was the stethoscope. Um, <laughs> seriously I want to do that every time um, and this could be three red domes as well um, 
It doesn't matter. I told you I have more. I can just pop that in there. There it is. So you could have three. This does have a, bl a blue base layer, but you could easily take it out and make it black. Um, that would match the fire department crest. The Maltese cross on there is black. So, But yeah, so there's my police one. And same thing. I just, I stamped. Oh, I'll show you on the other card how I did that. Just a sec. Stand by one. This is the police one. <laughs> um, sometimes, sometimes um, less is definitely more. Because look, this one just has one. <laughs> for our snow plow operators and other road maintenance workers. Um, and I love it with just the one. And you'll notice, and I'll show you when I get to it, I thought it was the next card down, but obviously it's a couple more down. Um, oh no, I know where it was, sorry. I gotta go back over here. Do, do, do. So this is this is the other thing that I do, just to, uh, just to make life easier. These are cut out as just round little circles because trying to cut out the, like the glow is not easy. But if you stamp underneath in the orange color, and then you put this over top, now your glow is orange without having to cut them out. It's part of the dimension. So that's what I did on these ones as well. I just stamped a red one, then a blue one, then a red one. Then I cut the things out and popped them out so that my glow matched my bulb. That's what I was trying to show you. Oh, let's see where this one came from. It came from in there. I, I'm doing that because I have to match my envelopes are also stamped and I want to match them up. So yeah, this one just has the one little light on it and it's just so adorable. And then I did a couple different colors. <laughs> um, this one, I, I was on a roll today because again, I was keeping this low tech. I did not pull out the Stamparatus. This would have been much easier with the Stamparatus. But I masked and lined up these three thank yous because I like this. This to me, this is thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Um, I also popped up a little extra heart on there, but you can't quite see it on there. So this one is just adding a little bit more color um, to the white, but not a solid color to card base. Oh, and then I started to get a little fancier. And I laughed on Monday because these are exactly the colors <laughs> that Tamara used for her card on Monday. And this, I had already made this card. Um, and I thought, oh, I'm going to have to change the colors. And then I was like, nope, <laughs> nope, those are the colors I like. So yeah, petal pink, pecan pie, and white. It is an awesome combination. It's almost like Neapolitan ice cream. I think that's why it's so awesome. But anyways, yeah, so this one I just, this one's got three colored ones. And in this one I didn't, oh, you can't quite see, I didn't stamp anything underneath because these are super easy to cut out. So you didn't really need the extra help. Um, but I just, yeah, I just went with that. And then I did the same with the um, pencil. <laughs> Only instead of three thank yous, you got like the three colored pencils. And the thank you. And this is, what is this, crushed curry, again with the pecan pie, um, and then the white. And I, do, I was just trying to go with like, you know, it's kind of thematic and stereotype, but these are fun, happy cards and the line drawing is, is, is simple and the font is nice and straight. It's not super curly cue or anything. So I was trying to keep these as clean as possible. Now, I have two projects left. <clears throat> I did, for one of them, just, just so you could see. And because Merrick's teacher this year was awesome. And you got to appreciate a teacher who gives each kid in the class a handwritten card at the end of the class saying um, what she liked about being in class with him and hopes, like, you know, well wishes for high school. And in this case, she even put a little, like, poke in his about, I hope you have, uh, you have no trouble getting up on time for the bus every day. For your mom's sake so and I've, I've never talked to her about it i barely talked to her at all um so obviously they they had discussions in class and she remembered the details it was it was just amazing so when you get like a special person you want to send to and you want to bling it up a little bit then you get something like this <laughs> um and so i did wrap a little pencil or a little bow around the pencil and there's a little gem in the corner there it's still it's still like subtle but this is what I wanted to show you because I, I had this idea and it worked out and I was just tickled pink with myself. Um, this little dude, again, why did I stamp, stack everything the way I did, is actually just <clears throat> part of the lanyard on the coach's whistle. And all I did was make sure I, I inked up just a part of the string here and didn't get like this top loop. Oops, you can't really see what I'm doing there, can you? I just made sure I only looped up like a chunk of the bottom of this string. And then when I stamped it, oops, I stamped it like this at an angle, it looks like the pencil drew the heart on the paper. <laughs> I know, 
I was pretty proud of myself with that one. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's only slightly blinked up. Um, this one is Crush Curry Flirty Flamingo. Nope, not Flirty Flamingo. Was it Melon? Nope, it was Melon Mambo. Because I was thinking that the erasers sometimes are like these vibrant pink. So anyways, that was my, my stepped up card. But even so, I only stepped it up a little. I was still like, do not touch, do not touch your die cuts. <laughs> do not. <laughs> and then, so any one of these you could do the same thing with, right? Sorry, that was my point. So you could, I could have made this, stepped it up a little bit um, with the whistle on it or with the stethoscope or with whatever. So you can basically take any one of these layouts, switch out the colors in the imagery and you've got all sorts of like options. And then the last one, uh, I'm going to actually put my little blingy one on top here and get some of the other ones out. I do, oh, I do love the band-aids. And actually my sister-in-law um, just had surgery today and she's going to feel so much better in a while. Oh, it's going to be awesome for her. So maybe I'll have to see if she needs to borrow some of these multitude of <laughs> medical thank you cards that I made. Um, so yes, all of them cards, all of them the same idea. But then, and again, I do like my snowplow guy. Um, look how easy it is and how cute it is to make a gift card holder. So all this is, and I'll, ha I'll, put, I'll, have, I'll have to get the dimensions again afterwards. It was eight and a half by four and a quarter, and I trimmed a chunk off, but now I don't remember what, how big of a chunk. I think I just trimmed an inch off. I folded it over, put a little bit of tear and tape on the edges, and using almost a card base, I just made my little dude. So this would, I wouldn't give him a MasterCard, but maybe a little like $10 Tim Hortons card so he can get himself a coffee and a donut after a hard day plowing snow. And a little, thanks. <laughs> but thanks, ignore what everybody else says. You guys are awesome. But isn't that cute with just the little, and all I did was stamp on there and color it like directly. It's just one layer. So anyways, I was having a <laughs> lot of fun <laughs> with, with this stamp set. Um, I have another stamp set that, it, that I'm also going to attempt to do in July, the simple type stuff. Um, but fear not, there will be many other uh, die cuts and punches and fun things because you know how I like that. Um, here's two other cards I made this week. I'll show you just to, just to prove that. We've got the uh, embossed pine boughs and the die cut rectangles and some extra stuff. And we got some punches. <laughs> so those were two retirement cards I made. Um, I actually, I'm pretty sure everything, with the exception of this, the punch. This was the one and three quarter inch circle. And this was the sailboat punch. Uh, I'm pretty sure everything else is, is retired. But I just happen to love those sets. So, so there you go. I have been crafting up a storm the last few days. And I'm uh, going to finish my little order tonight. And then I'm going to go out to the garage and finish cataloging everything. Um, I may or may not have said that afterwards I will make a spreadsheet. So if you miss the live, there will be a spreadsheet, but live is definitely the way to go. I'm gonna take pictures of all of these <laughs> cards and um, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick them all back up off my desk. I was trying to keep them in order so that when I went to take pictures, it would make more sense, but it's not going to now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick them back up again and show them as I go. So you can get like a little repeat performance. See if I can keep them in somewhat in a semblance of order. Um, but yeah, I will put pictures up of all of these cards and uh, feel free to uh, copy any layouts because uh, they are definitely fun and I was having a blast doing them. That's my fancy one. And then we'll go back through the little simple ones really quickly. See, I got little pieces all over my desk of all the extras. And I have all these extra whistles and extra thanks. Because sometimes when I create, I like to just make a whole bunch of stuff so that as I'm going, I can then just have things. So, And then these are my simple starter cards with just, this is, like I said, this is one layer. It's just a piece of the thick cardstock. And then some of them I've fussy cut a, a little dude to go on it. This guy's. I actually have dimensionals on the back. I should just put them. And actually with this one, you could just put one dimensional on two, or one popped up one. You don't even have to put all three. But I like it like that. And one of those. Oh, yeah, that guy. I jammed him in there. And that one. And that one. 
in this one. Uh, and you know what? As, out of all these things, I did have a fun time. And then my little my little dude. Um, I do love the way that these whistles turned out. And I might try to replicate it with a different like image on something else. But I, it might have been a one-time fluke just to get the just the perfect randomness on that card. <laughs> so there we go. Um, I'm actually going to end a little bit early today since I'm notorious, notoriously bad for going over. I'm actually going to end early because it's going to take me 20 minutes to take all these pictures and watermark them. So I wish I could see your comments and that I could have... They went away, by the way. Um, the ones that showed up all of a sudden, as soon as I went back to paying attention to the other screen, uh, nothing new showed up. So <laughs> I don't know. Um, I will look through the comments afterwards, though, and uh, address any any unanswered questions in that. I know that uh, my girl Tamara's got your back and she was answering questions because I saw her answer a couple. Um, I can't even figure out how to bring this up on my other one just to see really quickly if there's... You would think that if I was live on my own page that I'd be able to find it. But no, alas, I cannot. Oh, there we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at that comment. Man, I can't wait till I can get all of this uh, technology figured out. See, as soon as I go for comments now, it doesn't show me the comments. I give up. I give up on technology some days. It's just not my friend. Okay, I'm going to read the comments afterwards <laughs> because I have no idea what happened there. Thank you guys all very much uh, for joining me for What's Up Wednesday. Watch for posts on the extravaganza, on the after party, let me know if you guys need anything by Friday before the sales end or if you want to join up. Be in a demo. It's awesome. Uh, just for the deals alone, it is awesome. Um, but absolutely for the community. Number one reason to join. Uh, yeah, I hope to see you. It will probably be a video, so I guess I won't see you, but I will have something posted for Friday while I'm at the office. And then uh, hopefully, yes, I will see some of you back here this page this time hopefully with less technical difficulties um on sunday at noon to uh see if we can't make some stamp and supplies very happy as they go to new homes thank you everybody have a great night and uh we'll see you in a couple days bye